out here. And because it is, like you said, rather small, facility, but uh, the neighborhood, as opposed to the one that was on Hollywood, it's a lot better neighborhood as far as kids going out and, and to be able to enjoy uh, the surroundings without, you know, without the negative uh, influence. Uh, it's fully furnished uh, right now. Uh, right now I'm just waiting on uh, approval from, the, uh, from you guys to move forward. Um, Mr. Bailey, I have a few questions. Um, where are you getting the referral for these, for these children? Is the referral coming from the state? Yes, You're not acting as foster parents? No. no okay. And are these kids, do they, any of these kids have special needs? We want no one to leave. Okay. It's a screening process. Uh, of course, you know, there, there are some kids with emotional, um, emotional, Issues right. or some behavior issues, but that's up to us. It's up to us to vet as far as uh, who the, the kids we accept, the kids we won't accept. Okay. So we'll on that. All right. And um, my final question: Do you intend to live in this home? No. no okay. It's uh. There will always be two members there at all times. Okay. No it's a maximum oversight. It's a maximum oversight program. Mm -hmm. We're running for two uh, two staff members. On uh, on call for twenty four hours. Any questions for the speakers? That's fine. Uh, okay, go. Uh, yeah. Mr. Bailey, did I hear you say that the state guidelines say sixty three square feet per bedroom or two? Sixty three square feet. Sixty three square feet per resident for a uh, double occupancy and seventy five square feet per uh, single occupancy for the per state. Is that, a, is that is that equal with the, the city's rate? I'm just curious. The city does not get into square feet per person. We leave that to the state because they're the licensing agency. So, so based on square footage, the, the, does he meet the parameters of having six? Um, he thinks, based yeah. on the, what's the state's yeah. number, that they have room for five right. based on the four plan. Right. In order for me to be a, a, a licensed CCI, it would be six or more. Five or less would uh, put me in a status of uh, would be a waiver, right? Be a waiver category. And, um, but the but the square footage per per room for occupancy is enough for six. It's, I mean, all the state regulations as far as the square footage. So, let me say, so when you show us some cots in here, you, that room has to be how many square feet? Uh, it's under yeah, twenty six. Under yeah, twenty six square feet. feet. Okay. So, and so what's the, what's the footage of those three? I mean, 126. So They're both about 700, I mean, about 380 feet. All three rooms are measured at 12 by 15, for example, 180 square feet. Mm -hmm. yeah. With the addition of the master bathroom, mm -hmm. it has its own walking closet and shower. Mm -hmm. The addition of the uh, second living room uh, that adds uh, an additional, you know, to close to 300 square feet. But the, 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 the state's guidelines are you know, they not concerned with that? They're concerned right, with just, the, just with the, the bedroom. Right, like just the bedroom. With the bedroom, like I said, they measure, they measure out at 12 by 15, and that's more than the state's state guidelines as far as double or single item. I mean, yeah. just eyeballing the dimensions, and you can't see the dimensions on that screen. There's a copy of this in your packet. The two larger bedrooms look like they're plenty large enough to hold two people each. There's the smaller bedroom that's behind the kitchen. I'm guessing that's what one of the state is says only large enough for one. Yes, that's reasonable. So that's where the five comes from. So there'll be two in each room, and the, uh, the single the, the single mm -hmm. room would be for the oldest. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just curious, in, in response to this morning, is there any particular reason why the, the dimensions not shown on that one bedroom? Uh, which, which one? one same question? The one directly behind um, the bathroom, washroom. Yeah. It showed a 12 foot depth, but it's not showing the width. Uh, it be... I mean, based on what I see, I think it's probably 13 or 14 feet wide. But if you would, on the back side, on the top line, you should see it's not there. there. Mm -hmm. It's not there. I'm just curious mm -hmm. why it was left that part. I would have to take anything out of question from the city. Well, it, it appears that they've been approved for five. So if the city is not involved in first square footage, then 
um, they're not allowing them that sixth child that you were requesting. So apparently that thing has not been, uh, been to accommodate. Uh, Commissioner McClendon and then Commissioner Hunter. Yeah. Uh, have you any idea what age range you go for? From 11 to 17. Sir? 11 to 17. 11 to 17? Yes. Will it be just one okay. sex or will it be? It'll be, uh, it'll be all boys. All boys. Mr. Bailey, could you go over what you said about the living room again and the, the office, used for office or yes, yes. activities? Or? Yes, the additional living room, the French doors, uh, it's, it's, convert, it's a converted one car garage. Uh, I, uh, I saw the uh, <coughs> a restroom and uh, a staff restroom, the county staff. So that's where the office will be, that's where we'll uh, you know, lock the medication up, lock right. up uh, extra uh, refrigerator in. Um, Okay. It'll be some computers, some games back there for the kids to play along with you know, the additional living room and the games and computers in their own room. So, so it'll be enough space for uh, the residents to move around and also um, not create a uh, destructive footprint of the neighborhood. And as far as the staff, you said two staff will be Yes, sir. On site all the time? Yes, sir. Do they have a sleeping place or do they just rotate hours with others? Yeah, or? It'll, it'll rotate. Uh, okay. Hours will be from 7.30 to 3.30, 3.30 to 11, and 11. To so they're just basically on site. They don't have a living quarters or anything they yeah, because they're rotating on site. Okay, thank you very much. Other questions? Yes, sir. All right, thank you very much. Uh, we've run out of time, but I'll allow, if there's anyone else here who wishes to speak on behalf of this request, I'll allow them a minute. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak uh, to this commission. I am Rosemary Daly, uh, chair to my son, ex-veteran, uh, my sister, my daughter-in-law. I will be working with them, uh, having 40 plus years of human service business, only in operating a group home uh, for Currently, I think the group home in Louisiana for uh, that run along this line. This house will maintain its residential status. We put a lot of time and effort in this facility. We've done a lot of research. We have an operational manual. This is not an impulsive decision. This is a decision that's been well thought out and this uh, will be well maintained. So I'm asking the commission to grant this uh, request so we can move forward to serve the youth. Uh, particularly young boys, and it's called YPIT, Young People in Trouble. So uh, that's the uh, philosophy that we're going with, and that's our uh, goal. And I'll step Ms. Bailey, I have one question. Will you be involved in the operation of this facility? Yes, I, I have a 40-plus um, year human service business. I am um, a state retired, university retired educator, a reinvented, reinvented master of social work, so this is I will be involved uh, 24 7. Thank you. Any questions for our speaker? All right, thank you. Yeah. Is there anyone here tonight who wishes to speak uh, against the request? Anyone wishing to speak against the request? All right, if there's no one wishing to speak against, I'll turn it back over to the commissioners for any discussion. And if not, I'll call for a motion. Yes, Commissioner. I would like to make a recommendation to the City Council to approve uh, KCU 2019 03 with the existing staff recommendation. I think the number four uh, options. Okay, so you are following the staff recommendations to the letter? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do I have a second to that motion? All right. Any discussion on the motion? I'm just wondering why we don't allow science of the state
Commissioner Hall, would you like to amend your motion? Uh, no pressure. I checked. No, thank you. <laughs> I checked with Matt at the beginning, and he's, he, he's, they still stand behind the four. Okay. And, uh, All right, so. his decision and his opinion. Okay. So, Commissioner Hall's motion is that we accept um, the recommendations made by staff, and we have a second by Commissioner Graham. All right, I'll call for that. All those uh, voting in favor of the case as presented uh, by staff with their recommendations? Do you have, do you have a question? Oh, okay. Please raise your right hand, please, if you're voting in favor of Commissioner Hall's recommendations. Three? Okay. Four? All right. And all those against? Raise your right hand. One, two, three. All right, so the motion will carry. Uh, that will be four children. All right. Thank y'all. All right. Moving on to two Hay Hara cases. The first being HA 